Hi, welcome back to VK Online Education Training Course. The topic of this lesson is variables. The variable is the same as the flag mentioned in the previous unit. It can also be regarded as some data stored in a container. Then, it can also be used as a conditional judgment. And also saving some user selected data. In this part, the variables are actually the same as the flags. But, the difference here is, variable is able to provide more advanced features. For example, variables can be used to synchronize components on the user interface, like button, as well as text label. That same variable can also be used to monitor events using monitor events function. It can be used to capture the feedback from the device. If you just want to make some simple judgments, it is recommended to use flags. Variables is better to be used for synchronization and feedback. Next, let's create a new variable. First, move the mouse to the library in the upper right corner. Then, select the tab of the variable. Underneath, you can see a plus sign. It is used to add variables. On below page, it shows a list of variables you have previously created. Next, we press the plus sign. Let's start from the far left. Here, you can define the name of the variable. Then, select the type of the variable here. ASCII code and hex code are the same as we have mentioned in the previous chapter. ASCII is an integer value. Hex is a hexadecimal value. A new type of variable added to the variable is called string. It is to enter text value into the variable. We choose ASCII here. We can set its range from 0 to 10. And then we set its preset values. After everything is completed, we press enter, and VK will automatically store, and create this variable. We can see from the list on the right, that the variable we just added is in this place. If you want to modify it in the future, just press this pen icon, so that you can edit it again. Then there is also a trash can graphic next to it. Press down to delete the variable. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.